When, when you and Joan work together, now, yeah. who is the opening act? Well, we don't have, uh, we don't set it as an opening act. What we do is we literally flip a coin backstage. We both get dressed like we're going to go on. Uh -huh. And then we flip a coin. She wins, I would say, 95% of the time. And I've checked this coin, I've bitten it, I've looked to, <laughs> to see if there are two Washington heads on it. But she wins a lot. And then we go out, and then we come back at the end of the show, and we, and we take questions from the audience for about 20 minutes. I'll, I'll tell you something about working with Joan Rowe. And, and I'm not saying this because we're working. Besides being the funniest lady, and we all know that. And it, it has added something to my career, working with her. It's an excitement. I like working with Axe and all that, and I like working on my own. But when we work together, I look forward to those jobs like I did when I first started comedy, you know, like 10 years ago. That's, that's how exciting it is. That's because it the people are all in there to see comedy. They're not in there to hear, uh, you know, New York, New York, my way, you know? <laughs> well, you could try Nothing sing. against it. Music's my life. I don't want you to get the wrong impression. But it's, it, they're really uh, into comedy, so it's a different kind of a great house. thing, and you can't have too much of it. Yes, you can. Get sick of your stomach from laughing. <laughs> <I do. laughs> right now, I want to bring out uh, my first guest. Uh, she's a favorite here on The Tonight Show, and I've been here many times with uh, unique animals. It's Joan Embry, who's from the uh, San Diego Zoo and Wild Animal Park. And she's going to have her own daily uh, television show on cable TV starting in June. I don't know why she's brought us here, but please welcome Joan Embry and friends. <laughs> They gave me this. It's like, oh. That's uh, how you make friends with this. Oh, yeah? Here, it's yours. This oh, you give Zelda. it this way. That's right. All right. This she's, is Zelda? And she's the first zebra. I've worked with a lot of animals. The first zebra I've ever had on a television show. And maybe one of the first zebras on a live television show. They're usually very cantankerous by this age and especially as adults. You mean they're vicious? They're, even though they're in the horse family, they're very suspicious of people. Very what am I, pump? Why do I have to pump? I don't understand. <laughs> This is like with a cow. It's, a, it's already out of the cow, pal. Stay still. Actually, yeah. she's, she still loves that bottle. She's eating solid food, which is uh -huh. hay and yeah. grasses, but she loves the milk. And she's very suspicious of strangers, but when she sees the milk, then it's OK. Oh, then, then all of a sudden, you're, okay? then you're OK if you oh, have the food. Oh, great. Do we have more milk in case she finishes this? <laughs> That's it. You can see how fast she drinks it. Yeah. Well, I don't want her to run out and then get vicious. She won't do that, will she? No. Oh. Actually, if you watch the hindquarters, we don't have people walk behind her because she's very handy with her hind end. She can kick you twice before you ever knew what hit you. <laughs> I took out a girl a... like that once. <laughs> she's a grabby zebra, and they are a... among the rarest of the various types of zebras, which vary in their color pattern, and one of the most spectacular. They get up to about five foot, high, and there are only about a 1,000 of them left in Kenya. At one point, there were 15,000, and they were hunted for their skins, for phone book covers, oh uh, wall hangings, rugs. So we really like to point out that, that those things really cause the decline of many species. So I have to oh, be wow. very careful. Wow. Come on up here, Zelda. Get up That's on the right. Well, she hits, if she kicks me, she's going to have zippers and buttons <laughs> on her by morning, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Side. So everybody can see her. They have extremely large ears. They have excellent hearing and good sense of smell and are very wary of anybody approaching them. And their predators in the wild would be things like lions and hyenas. Are afraid of them? A lion leopards. is afraid of a... Of no, a... that's who preys on them. Oh, oh I was going to say it. They have a very swift kick. And you can imagine with a 500-pound lion how, how well they can kick to fend off an animal of that size. Well, they're, what are they? A combination of what? I mean, they're... Whoa, whoa, hello. More milk, milk, milk. Good milk, milk, they're, milk. They're a wild form of, of equine, and there are the zebras and the wild asses, and although they look like a horse, temperamentally they're very different because the one factor which is allowed for their survival is their ability to fend off predators and survive in the wild. And domestic animals really depend on us, and over thousands of years we've selected for the temperaments that we see in a domestic animal. Even though they follow through with some, some of the traits, zebras cannot be easily trained to ride or drive. It's been done, but very seldom. You mean to drive? How could they drive? It's pretty difficult. I've heard. And how some... do they get behind the wheel, first of all? <laughs> Drive a cart, but I've heard some interesting stories about hooking them up in some very wild rides in the process. Uh, occasionally, you'll see them in the circus, but you really have to start with a very young animal like Zelda, because if you start with an adult, yeah. it's almost impossible. 
to start with them about we started with her at eight weeks and she was already wanting to run people away strangers away so uh, it's taken a lot of daily work to get her calm enough that we yeah. can bring her into a studio all right well i think i'm running out of milk so i'm going to take a break and you'll take her backstage all right we'll have more animals right after okay. this that's it <laughs> nice 